So smart, safe, and virtual travel is something we want to focus on in our region because it's something that we can all relate to, uh, we can collaborate on and use technology to overcome. We weren't sure what we would hear from the communities around uh, challenges that they were facing, but we heard loud and clear that communication, transportation, these are really key areas that people are struggling with and are keen to really dig in and find innovative solutions for. We need all the help we can get to improve our, our residents' life with safe, reliable and efficient transportation will help our economy grow and that's really important to us. We started to focus on real-time road conditions. Being able to wake up in the morning and check your route to work and see how much snow there is on the road or see when the plow last came and from there you can actually see who's going in your direction and that incorporates a whole ride sharing portion. We've been uh, using the GPS technology first in our transit system to better inform our customers exactly where our, our transit buses are en route. We've also been able to use that technology in our snow plowing program and in the future we believe we'll be able to share this information with our residents. So one of the key things with smart cities is integrating the different kinds of information together and GIS is a great tool for doing that. Sixty-one percent of our greenhouse gas emissions in rural areas are attributed to transportation. This compares with 48 percent in urban areas. Reason being, we just don't have the transportation choices in our rural and remote areas. Transit is not the answer for all seniors, so we've been working with the ride-sharing groups and car share and volunteer driver programs to see how technology can benefit those programs and benefit seniors' use of the program. Sometimes you can only virtually travel, and in many cases this form of communication is actually superior to being face-to-face. -face. That's the, the stage that we're at with the technology, and pretty well every home internet can do that, but even more exciting is the fact that we've got the network in the region that can be scaled out, our open access network that Columbia Basin Trust has put in place, and we can scale this out to do the most amazing video and all kinds of uh, very advanced things in the future. Imagine a project like Smart Kootenai connecting a post-secondary institution in Canada with a rural mandate in six communities separated by mountain ranges and looking at ways to better connect those communities along with students being involved in developing new ways to adopt technology to make smart, safe and virtual travel choices that allow us to deliver our programs more effectively into the region and beyond. With a solution to travel smart, safe and virtual Lives of all Canadians can be improved to work better and to live better.